Hello everyone and welcome to Kirby's Adventure. This is one of my all-time favorite games. It's definitely in my top 10 for NES games. And um, funny story about how I obtained this game. Well, I can't really say funny story because... It, ow. I don't guess it's technically a funny story, but it's just... It's a thing people say, right? Um, this is one of the few games I had new in the box. Um, you know, even in the late 80s, early 90s, I don't think... People like my parents' age were fully knowledgeable, ah, come on, about most things video games. So um, I remember they bought Yoshi's Cookie, which was kind of like a Tetris clone. They bought this, but a lot of the games I had for the NES were given to me, I think by my uncle. Gave me a huge stack. Whoops. Forgot to press A. But other than him giving me a huge stack of NES cartridges, it was, um... Buy a few here, buy a few there. And, uh, I honestly couldn't tell you how many were bought new in the box. Ninja Turtles, I think? Um, but I do definitely remember having the box for this one. I felt it was like this very strange... ...thing to, for a boy to receive. You know, a pink game. It was definitely odd. Like, I remember when I got it and it opened it and I was like, what is this? This isn't a cool game. This isn't Mario or something like that. Is, who's this pink guy on the front of this? This is going to be some stupid, dumb kids game. And then I played it. And then I played it some more. And I kept playing it until I finished it. And I played it many times since. And, um... I think I skipped forward, um, as I did with a lot of Nintendo games. Like, I didn't play Kirby f when he was on the Super Nintendo. I didn't play Kirby when he was on the 64. I think I went straight from this to Smash Bros. Pretty much the same deal with Metroid. I played the original Metroid on the NES, then went straight to Smash, then Metroid Prime. Hurrah! Oh, we should have saved it. We could have really did some damage here. Go ahead. Hop on over. Oh, we're gonna hop again, aren't we? Yep. Come on, turkey. Ow! He threw that one fast. I was not expecting that. Joke's on you. Kirby can hold this. Forever. Crash. Okay. I did not mean to do that. Well, rats. I was gonna say that. Ugh. Now I'm all yawning. Get rid of mushroom. Uh, mushroom. Look at me. Thinking I'm still playing Mario. The Max Tomato? I think. Pop. Come on. So yeah, as far as Kirby is concerned... It was de definitely... I can't stop yawning to save a life. It was definitely one of those cases of don't judge a book by its cover. Because that's the worst thing you can do. Because this game is really fun. Slash! Ooh. I actually have since claimed to many friends of mine and others on the internet that Kirby might be ah, the most powerful video game character, mainly because um, he pretty much consumed abilities. Really? Alright, we're just gonna lose that. Usually I don't... Usually I'm not... Usually I'm not this bad. Really? Oh, yep, mm-hmm. He turned around. I didn't know he was going to turn around. 
just means that everybody's gonna get got now. Bye. You. You. Anyone else? Yep. You. You. Ah, oh, Alias. Maybe I should... <sighs> really? Maybe I should have a no man standing policy because of this. Actually, only a few of Kirby's abilities that I ever actually need. Whoa. Or I should say the enemy's abilities. They're not Kirby's abilities, or else he wouldn't be borrowing them. Plant that flag. All right. Let's see. Museum. We must have some sort of sword fight coming up. Nope. Just a fight with big guy. Nope. But I will take your ability because it is my favorite. Well, at least we're in dreamland. It's an appropriate place to be doing all of this yawning. And it's not a bit. I really am super tired today. Um, there we go. I think Kirby was my main character for Smash 64. Then in Melee, I played somewhat with Kirby, but I definitely switched over to Falco because my buddy was using Fox. And um, Samus and Pikachu some. Of course, Pikachu would become my main for Brawl with Samus as my backup. Then in the fourth Smash Bros for the DS and the Wii U, it became... Uh, Samus, I think, became my main, yeah. The good old Kirby. Good old Kerbster. Well, I could throw down with Kirby back in the day. Now, even on the new Smashes, I do pretty well with Kirby. That's, you know what, we should play Smash 64. We'll do that, we'll play Smash 64 soon. Maybe we'll play it a little bit and run those episodes alongside Kirby. Now here's the fun thing. This boss fight has an entire elaborate thing to where he'll drop, well he does that. I misses, but he'll drop these, and you're supposed to consume them and shoot them back at him. But, since we have this ability, we could just stand here and give him the business all day long. Of course, that would make for a pretty boring boss fight now, wouldn't it? Mmm. Mmm. Satisfaction!